Hello children, hope you all are doing good and uh, as you are uh, heading towards your Hafil exams, so I hope your preparation is also going well. So uh, today we will do chapter 7 of your grammar book that is uh, present continuous and past continuous. So children, let's have a look. So let us see what is present continuous. When a verb describes an action that is continuing for some time, it is said to be in the continuous form. For example, it is snowing outside now. It is a present continuous. And here we have to use B plus verb plus ing. That is, is snowing is present continuous. My sister is watching TV. Here also B plus verb plus ing. We will write is watching is present continuous. So, uh, children, we will uh, use in different forms this uh, present continuous tense in different forms like to talk about a fixed plan in the near future. How we can put the present continuous in this type of sentences? Let's have a look. My father is going to Hyderabad tomorrow. That means my father had decided, he has decided to go to Hyderabad tomorrow. He has planned it. Okay, but it is future uh, it is uh, he has uh, fixed the plan for his future that is tomorrow so uh, the same thing will apply for the past continuous also the continuous form can be also used in the past tense the past continuous is used for actions which are going on at a particular time in the past that is already done for example i was singing so children, here we have written singing but in place of is, we have used was because was is used for the past tense. Because I was singing, that means I was singing in the past. Understood? Uh, here, no timing is mentioned. That means uh, there is no timing given for the particular action. My next one, my mother was washing her hair. Here also no timing is mentioned but the action has been mentioned here. Number 2. When action 1 began and was going on before action 2 in the past. Let's see examples. That is I was singing. It is action 1. When it began to rain. It is action 2. That means these two are verbs only. Singing and rain. These two are verbs. So, the first action one is I was singing. It is action one. And uh, when it began to rain is action two. Here we will see that when action one began. Like I was singing. Like I have already started singing. And that time rain began. Okay. Uh, when action one began. And it was going on before action two in the past. Before the rain began, I started singing. So, it is mentioned here. So, I was reading a book when the telephone rang. The action 1 is I was reading a book. But afterward, what happened? In action 2, the telephone uh, rang. Okay. So, in the past tense, the continuous form of the verb will also change. You have to keep in mind. Like, uh, is will change to was. Okay. And if it is singular... Like is eating, it is present continuous. But it, if it is plural, it will change to are eating. Is eating present continuous singular? Are eating, it is plural. Present continuous but plural. Then uh, was eating. Was eating is past continuous but it is singular. But when it will uh, change to plural form, it will change, was will change to where, where eating. Okay. So children, you have to learn these things. You have to practice so children, more. I hope you all have understood. And if you have any doubt, uh, you can clear it up by calling me anytime. Till then, goodbye.